If your video was not recorded on a tripod but handheld, stop tracking and set camera stabilization. We need to first stabilize the motion of the camera in the video. To do so, simply select a few reference spots where the ball starts and some in the distance. Make sure you select them not around the golf player because they will mess up track. So anything where there's no motion. Now we're gonna track those points and once the tracking has completed, you can use the slider to check the quality of the dots you've set. They need to stay in place. So when you see something jump out of place, you need to delete those markers in the frame before they start moving around. So we just deleted them. So just drag the mouse around and set new markers if you want later on in the framing and press done when you're happy with your result. Now we can use keyframe editor to set the keyframes where we see the ball in the motion. So we're gonna use zoom to get us a better idea where it is. Spacebar multiple times to skip multiple frames. You don't need to mark every single frame, just mark them as far as you can see the ball. It's just important to make sure that you mark the first three um, frames. Then after that, you can use the space bar. Just go as far as you can see the ball. Um, and once you're done, once you're happy, you can't see the ball, don't add any random dots. Just go straight to set the landing spot, press create line, and now you have your tracer line. And it's stabilized. Next new feature we can add is a dual color line. So let's work with a red and yellow line. So I set the starting color, the ending color, and then also use the slider where I want the change of color to happen. Let's play that back and see how what we get. Looks very good. You can see the line stays in place. It does not move around. Thanks to camera tracking. So this looks really great. Now, the next thing we can do is add a flyout distance. New cool feature. I'm just going to set add a new pop up, set my distance I want it to look on the flyout. Now, position the number next to that crosshair at the beginning of the line, and this will lock the number the, off exactly where you have positioned it next to the line. I can also change uh, all the settings, but we'll get into at a later tutorial. I can use human cutout so the line doesn't appear in front of the golfer but behind the golfer upon export and our new feature the tracer glow. I can set the glow strength and the glow size using those sliders. You can customize as you want it and again you can customize your colors as well. And now we have a stabilized tracer with a flyout distance with the laser effect. Looks really awesome. And when you export it, you'll also get the human occlusion. Beautiful, straight down the middle. Thank you.